set. The next thing we'll do, I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. The next thing, um, we still don't have enough designs out here. So we're going to have some, so we're going to create some random high quirk dirks to create some map, create like some sort of like structure to make it look like some sort of thingies are around the area. Now we're gonna add some. Now we're gonna add some crevices around the area. But actually, instead of crevices, we'll put some flagstones around that general vicinity. We'll put some. We'll put a patch of low dirt right here. for this place since we'll have this side as the enemy base. I think for this side we'll actually like create what, a ruins of like some form. Create some stuff around here. And for this section, we'll have like a low and high ground one time. And create some like other shit around here. We're just doing random, just doing random stuff right now. Not exactly showing off any math skills, kind of just hanging around. And music's dying. Let's just reset that. right there okay uh, we have the general layout of the map all right we have a general layout of what we want of what I exactly wanted for your map you can have whatever the hell you want it's not my concern I'm just showing you how to do this shit now it's like it, it looks okay I mean there's a lot of weird random stuff now let's get the actual now let's get the actual uh, now but uh still kind of looks plain we need some designs around here that's where you use the doodad pilot. Go here, and you open that up, or you can just automatically switch. If you have the brush pilot open, the doodad one will pop up automatically. You can look at the size of what you're going to need it. You need two dimensions for here, and it's a... You need two dimensions over here. Two X to X. You can look at the kind of dimen The dimensions thing of, for anything is right here. This, checks, this shows you the exact position of where you are in the map. Of where you are in your map. So we're gonna add some crazy. So we're gonna add some crazy stuff like these thingy crystals. Make some crystal feet. Yes. Yeah, it's a crystal map. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where did that come from? I gotta stop smoking. Damn, can I smoke it? Or am I? <laughs> you guys don't know that shit. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Some of stuff like this. And, there's, and some of it's actually animated. For example, this. This spins. Those are always, those always makes good for nice designs. But mostly this is just designs. But doodads are an essential part of map making because they not only help because they help you make your map because they help you make your maps and the area around it seem a little bit more significant. You try to make your own story, that's where doodads would really come in handy. Each, each doodad is different depending on what you have, depending on what area you're using. I 
if I, I just remember which one is the... Yeah. Now, for areas like this, did you see the structure? You can actually climb on top of that structure. To get on that structure, what you need to do is you need to construct a ramp. So you need to construct a ramp of some form. Now, I have it on high Vescalia, so I'm kind of an idiot right now. Make sure your dimensions fit. If you see any red, that means you have a problem. What you want to do, you'll see like a small, you'll see a fit transparent image of that, of the thing you're trying to construct. What you want to do is you want to make that thing appear like that. You can check the dimensions of what you need right here, or the scale. Once everything is green, left clicking allow, left clicking creates the creates this thing. Now there's an access way units can use to get up there. There actually is a tactical advantage to using doodad, for using doodad, for doodads. For example, we're going to create something like right here. This is sort of like built because those are sort of like trees. When a unit is firing at a unit that is that is hiding in the doodad, their chances of hitting them is reduced by thirty percent. That means if you have that means in a map if you're creating units by in a unit map or otherwise. Or if you're fighting in the map with trees, the first one, if enemy, if if you put enemy units hiding in trees and your units start firing on them, you lose 30% accuracy. The same concept also applies if you're trying to shoot units from out from elevated heights. From elevated height, you can use those key using those key features as essen is essential things you might want to think about. Give yourself a little bit more of an edge. Give yourself the opponent more of an edge. It's all up to you. I mean, astrology is about to end. So we're just going to switch songs for a second. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to switch, so... We'll just switch the... We'll switch to Paranoia. Now, you, for crossing water and stuff like that, you need to create a bridge. Bridges are always marked the same way, so don't look for water. Just look for bridge. Again, with the same things before, you want to match the image up with the with the environment around it in order to create your bridge. And there you are. The design looks like fuck. Looks like someone took a shit on it, but honestly. Better than, but honestly, looks a lot. But honestly, it's probably for the best. You probably don't want to do anything extreme yet. Okay, now we have that. Now we're gonna place the neutral unit. Now we're gonna place neutral units. These are units that, um, no matter what you place, play. They don't. It, it doesn't impact anything. It won't impact the map. It can either make the map really nice or just really overdo it. Critters are the things that you see once in a while on a StarCraft map that just wander around and do absolutely nothing. They have no tactical value whatsoever. Technically, the Protoss can use them. If it, Technically, a Protoss player can use them. Really affect if they have a Dark Archon. They make good scout because then they... Because once they're mind controlled, they make good scouts. The enemy doesn't really suspect you using critters too much. Critters move on their own. They have a very, they have a very, they have a random set. They have a random, they have a random program of what they have to. They have a random algorithm of what they got to do. Um, for most critters, for since this is a twilight area, we're going to say Kakira. Or I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not too sure. You can set anything else. You don't have to set any. You don't have to set just the plant-specific critter. We're just going to use that because it's a little bit more appropriate. And quite honestly, I don't care. Now that helps. This music will work. 